we're going to do a little Tibetan Buddhist folk thing for Doug right now. It's going to be led by Nikki Devine, Lily, Lily Aquarium, and Sunshine Magic Tree Center. The first. <laughs> So here they are, Doug. I'm loving these. We're waiting for him to eat his dessert. Okay, he's gonna eat dessert. Very important. Stay tuned. compliment the kitchen. Michelle Wood. <laughs> Chris the barbecue. I'm sorry I'm forgetting your last name. Uh, the incredible kitchen staff of thousands. <laughs> Unbelievable really. And everybody who's helping out with parking and peacekeeping and all oh, the tables setting up. And uh, just rent it for donating and price uh, price and vineyards, but and also um, White Thorn White Thorn Winery, White Thorn Winery, and the Haas the Haas is a very fine wine. Yeah. And I just have, uh, personally, this is an amazing night to see all of you here. This is truly this is a piece of history. There is a silent auction. Most of the stuff in the silent auction belonged to Doug. And there's some amazing, humble, historical uh, pieces of art. There's prints of humble posters from the ancient times. <laughs> Back when you all were my age. <laughs> I'm going to pass the microphone down to Nikki. Nicole. I hope that's okay, Mom. Here we go. I'm Lily. I'm a midwife in this community the last 38 years. 
Doug and I share a birthday, different decades, same day. <laughs> and when we did this for Mick Burkholder all those years ago, I felt like, isn't this wonderful? We can have a party while you're still here. And you can enjoy it with us. This is awesome. And, um, as the Native Americans say, every day, apparently, some tribes, they wake up and say, this is a good day to die. Yeah, okay, hey, and it's, it's hard, it's really hard for us, it's hard for us to say goodbye, it really is, this is our chance, and it's also our chance to do this beautiful Buddhist tradition that I've been reading up about, Buddhism is not my first religion, and it's called Poa, and it's the tradition of light, as I've been understanding it, where we're asking for light to come, possibly from a deity, a Buddha, a Mary, a Jesus, a whoever we might see. It could be sunshine, it could be the earth, it could be the air we breathe, it could be the water all around us. We're going to ask for that to come as light and to come down on this being. Doug Green, this beautiful being that has touched all of our hearts for so many years and who will continue to touch us even when he's not here in this body. And we're going to use this light to bring down and shower upon Doug just as the Dalai Lama did when he touched Doug in that beautiful moment. We're going to use an image like that, or an image that works for us to bring the light and shower it on Doug. And I invite us to do it now, and I invite us to do it every day that we remember. We're out in the garden on the earth, we're drinking water from our land, we're breathing this beautiful clean air that we have, we're enjoying the fire of our spirit, any of those moments, take a moment, bring that light down, bring it around you, and bring it and send it to Doug. This is a light, not of healing, although we don't leave out miracles, but at this moment, it's not a healing, it's a light of ascension, a light of graduation, a light that is completely embodied with our love the love of this planet, the love of Doug's family all around him, his blood family, and all of us that are his family. And we will shower that light upon Doug. The sunshine will play the bowl for us. And I would invite you to keep that little kernel and hold it. And every once in a while as we go through our day, remember it. And again, send it to Doug. That's what we can do in these last days. And I also have this bottle of spring water from my land that I'm going to send home. It's all going to be charged with our light and our love. And it's going to get sent home with Doug. And his family can invite him to drink it or put it on his body, renew his tears, whatever he needs to do. And the water will stand for our love as a physical representation of our light and love in these last days and weeks. Poa, it's called Poa.
Uh -huh. I think we'll end with an ohm so we can all add our voice to that. The sound of love comes from the heart, so it's ohming, but you're sending out from your heart. It's a, it's a higher sound. Um, just join in and I'll do my best just to start it. Uh.
Yeah. 